Hey guys and welcome back to the Essex Rotary channel. In today's video we're talking spark plugs. Fake ones. So guys, Educo spark plugs, specifically those for the RX-8 in this case. I know a lot of people are going to find it difficult to believe. We've actually been seeing fake spark plugs coming through from various eBay sellers. I'm not going to point the finger at anyone. And we've also had reports at some UK large parts suppliers. Um, people have been buying these, they don't necessarily know what they're getting and they're not comparing them directly to an original in some cases. So we've actually been seeing these for a while. The problem is with fake spark plugs, they could work okay. Do you guys really want to be like, taking the risk? Um, we're going to take some close ups of some original NGKs I've got here, which we sell at the workshop or on our website even. Both. Um, versus, unfortunately I've only got a grubby fake plug which we've pulled out of a customer's engine. Um, but we're going to show you some direct comparisons between the two and how to identify hopefully what you've got. I hope you haven't got a dodgy one. So, spark plugs. On face value you'd think, mm, yeah they look the same. This one's the fake, this one's an original. Bear in mind, this one's already been used and we took it out of a customer engine, so the bottom's gonna be a little bit black. Basically, what we've found is they seem to come in the same kind of box. NGK's had a page on their website for a number of years, which has basically pointed out easy ways to tell with their conventional plugs. Uh, Difference between, obviously, a original and a knockoff. However, obviously, we're quite aware of RX-8 plugs, they're a bit unique. So we've come across a few telltale signs, which hopefully, with uh, this video, it's gonna help you tell the difference what you've got, point you away from maybe buying some cheap crap. Basically, we removed this from a local customer's engine. He wasn't aware, he'd only just bought them. They're looking pretty in pretty good nick. But he wasn't aware until we'd removed them for a compression test that there's a distinct difference. Um, the, the easiest way to tell we've found is if looking at the bottom so the working end of the plug here, this area is substantially larger than it is on an original. If we look in comparison between the two, you can see, let's tell that's orientated the same. You can see that the opening on the, um, the knockoff is a lot bigger. The ground electrode, so the little piece here, compared to the original, Let's try to get a nice close up. Um, compared to the original, is substantially less meaty. Um, it's not the original NGK is nice and square. Uh, there's also no way to tell really, obviously, how it's been joined. Whereas the fake, uh, there's a excuse me, knocking my tripod. There's a squish mark um, where it's obviously been welded. The gap on the original is quite obvious, so the gap is the space between the ground electrode and the working part inside. On the original, you can see the ground, the ground electrode is nice and straight. They come pre-gapped. They all come with these little cardboard sleeves. Um, they come pre-gapped, so the gap on that is about right, or it should be right. Obviously on the cheap, fake special, Firstly, the ground electrode is substantial, and I haven't touched this since we've removed it. The ground electrode is substantially closer, so the gap's smaller. You see the gap, the, the ground electrode is not actually sticking up past the working end of the plug. Next, we're gonna be looking at the color difference in the material. So next, we've got the difference in the material with the original NG cut at the bottom the cheap nasty copy at the top. You can see the original NGK is a much duller silver where the, the copy's that bit brighter, okay. The labelling on these, again, is pretty similar, although some we have seen which the print's been really bad and it's not really been very well centralised or aligned on the body. Okay, the NGK stamping, where all the, the stamping on the main plug body here, you can see the NGK is nice and crisp. Okay, where the copy, 
while it's a deeper stamp, um, it's actually a little bit messy, or it's messier. Plug caps next. The original is this one here. Copy has got a much duller plug looking plug cap. The original's almost got like a iridescent kind of neochrome look to it, where the copy's just basically grey. Okay, the gasket's next. Now the gasket's not that obvious, um, but we find that the gasket on the original, you can't really pull it down all that far. Okay, on the, on the copy, the original gasket, or the, on the copy, the gasket's much looser. So you're actually finding that the gasket will protrude much further down. This is, we've actually seen some which are even worse and we can unwind them from the actual plug. These are the leading plugs, by the way. The trailing are not quite as easy to tell. However, it does almost look like they've just taken some copy trailing plugs, cut the cross in them, um, and then just marked them up as leading, almost. Um, I'm not saying that's the case, but do you want to trust your rotary engine to unknown quality spark plugs? So guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully the, the, this quick video has give you a, a few pointers as to what to look for with regards to genuine plugs versus fake knockoffs. Um, obviously, we only really want to be using genuine plugs in our engines. Um, we know where they've come from and we know that they're designed to do the job. Uh, obviously with fakes, who knows um, how long they're going to last. Heat ratings, there's, there's a heap of stuff which could go wrong. So um, yeah, if you like the video, um, don't forget to hit the like button, uh, leave us a comment, subscribe. Also, please, please share the video on your various um, social media networks and stuff you're um, you're on. We really want to get the message out there because people are still buying cheap plugs and fitting them in their cars without um, really knowing what they've got. We actually see an image. I'll see if I can dig it out. Um, if I can, I'll put it up here. Um, we actually see an image on social media the other week of a spark plug that is a lot worse than that. Um, and people are still asking if they're real or not. So um, yeah, with that all said, you can find us on essexrotary.co.uk. Uh, we've obviously recently uploaded or recently revamped our web store where you'll be able to find some genuine NGK plugs. Also social media at essexrotary.co.uk, Instagram, Twitter, or Essex Rotary Specialist on Facebook. Thanks for watching, uh, we'll catch up with you soon. Sometimes uh, you really do get what you pay for. And in this case, all these are good for is a bit.